Berenstain Bears, Kindness Counts, written by Jan and Mike Berenstain. The king will reply, I tell you the truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Matthew twenty five forty. Brother Bear was a bear of many interests. He enjoyed sports such as baseball, soccer, football, and basketball. He liked to draw and paint, and he was interested in science. He had hobbies like collecting stamps and baseball cards, and he enjoyed fishing and playing video games. But the thing he enjoyed most of all was building model airplanes. He started building models with Papa when he was very young. At first, they made simple plastic models, but soon they were creating flying models out of lightweight wood and paper. And before long, Brother could build models all by himself. He kept building bigger and better models that could fly longer and farther and higher. And on trips to the park with Sister, always took out his latest model for the flight trials. It was a thrill to wind up the propeller for the first time, let it go, and watch it fly across the park. One Saturday afternoon, Brother tried out his latest creation, a big model plane painted bright red called the Meteor. He set it down on the grass and wound the propeller. Sister joined some of her friends nearby. One of them was minding her younger brother, Billy. He was playing with a small model plane like the one's brother had when he was little. When Billy saw Brother's big new plane, he came over to take a look. Wow, he said, that's beautiful. Thanks, she's called the Meteor. I built her myself, Brother said proudly. Wow, said Billy. I wish I could build a plane like that. Brother finished winding the propeller and picked up the meteor. Can I help you fly it, asked Billy. Brother was proud of his models and careful with them, too. They took a long time to build and were they easy to break. If you didn't launch them just right, they could take a nosedive and crash. Well, said Brother doubtfully, I don't know. But he remembered how Papa always let him help out when they were building and flying model planes. That's how he had learned, by helping Papa. Well, said Brother, okay, you can help me hold it. Oh, boy, thanks, said Billy. Brother knelt down and let Billy hold the model with him. Now remember, said Brother, don't throw it. Let it fly out of your hands. Here we go. One, two, three, fly. They both let, both let go, and the big red meteor lifted up and away, his propeller whirring. Yippee! But Brother was worried. The meteor was climbing up too steeply, and as they watched, the meteor rose high above the park. It seemed to pause in midair. Its nose suddenly dipped down, and it went into a dive. The meteor hit the ground with a nasty crunch. Brother and Billy ran to the wrecked model. Brother sadly picked it up and looked at the damage. Billy's big sister and the others noticed the excitement and came over. Oh, no, said Billy. Is it my fault? Did I do something wrong? Did I throw it instead of lifting it, letting it fly like you said? Brother shook his head. Of course not, he said. You did fine. This is my fault. I didn't get the balance right. It's tail heavy. That's why it went too steep, paused, and dove down. It's called stalling. Are you going to fix it, asked Billy. Sure, laughed Brother. Build em, fly em, crash em, fix em. That's my motto. Can I help you, ordered Billy. Now, Billy, said his big sister, you're too young to help. But Brother remembered how Papa always used to let him help. That was how he learned about model airplanes. That's okay, Brother told Billy's big sister. I don't mind. I could use a little help. So Billy came along to the Bear's treehouse, and Mama and Papa were pleased that Brother was being so kind to young Billy. It's just as the good book said, Mama said. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Yes, said Papa. It also says in the, in the Bible that a kind person benefits himself. What does that mean, wondered Brother. It means that no act of kindness is wasted, said Papa. Any kindness you do will always come back to you. <clears throat> Every afternoon that week, Billy helped Brother work on the plane. He didn't know very much, but he learned a lot and had lots of fun. Brother had fun, too. He enjoyed teaching, and he liked having a helper who looked up to him. The next Saturday, the meteor was ready for another flight. Brother and Billy took it to the park. Everyone came along to watch. They wound the meteor's propeller, held it up, and let it fly. It lifted away and rose in a long, even curve. That looks like a good flight, said Brother. 
The meteor flew on and landed in the field. Slowly it came down, landing clear on the other side of the park in a three-point landing. Brother and Billy ran over. It was in perfect shape. Hooray! yelled Billy, jumping up and down. Brother began to wind up the propeller for another try, but he noticed a group of older cubs walking in the park. They carried a lot of interesting equipment and wore jackets that said Bear Country Rocket Club. Brother went over to watch. They were setting up a model rocket. They were going to fire it off and let it go down my parachute. Brother was excited. Excuse me, he said to the cub in charge. Do you think I could help you launch the rocket? The cub shook his head. Sorry, you're too young. It's too dangerous. Brother walked away sadly. But he noticed that Billy was staying behind. He was talking to the older cub in charge. The older co cub called Brother back. My cousin Billy tells me that you help let him help with your model plane, said the older cub. Brother just nodded. The older cub smiled. That was cool. You seem to know a lot about flying and models. I guess you can help out. So the rocket club let Brother hold things for them, carry things for them, and squirt a little glue here and there. He learned a lot, and he was happy. When it was time to fire the rocket, they even let Brother push the button. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fire! said the cub in charge, and Brother pushed the button. And there was a loud whoosh. The rocket shot up, leaving a trail of smoke. High above the park, a ye yellow parachute popped open, and the rocket drifted back to Earth. They ran over to it. It was all twisted and scorched. Are you going to fix it? asked Brother. Sure, laughed the other cub. Build them, fly them, crash them, fix them. That's our motto. Can I help you? asked Brother. The older cub thought it over. Sure, he said, slapping Brother on the back. Why not? So because Brother Bear had shown a little kindness to someone younger than himself, he became, became the youngest member ever of the Bear Country Rocket Club. And was he ever proud?